This is a video of setting up the 835 database that will store all the loops and segments in any 835 transaction. First, you create an empty database in any version of SQL Server. I like to call mine EDI underscore, use that as a prefix. You'll see here that there are no tables or no store procedures yet. You insert the segments into the tables. And um, we will select the newly created empty 835 database and then go to the zip file that contains the DDL uh, for the, the SQL for the um, to create the structures, the tables, the store procedures. You'll see that it's all transactionalized. So if there's any error, no structure will be created. No store procedures, no tables. I'll just scroll through the DDL script, the uh, A35 database creation script. And all you do is copy and paste the contents of this into an open query window with the A35 select all, um, copy, paste it into an open query window that's pointed to the newly created empty database. And once we refresh the database, you'll see all the tables and store procedures needed to take all the segments that are in A35. You'll see that it succeeded. And let me refresh the database so that it reflects the new tables and store procedures. Here are all the tables. And you'll see the way I named the tables. The tables are named in the order in which they occur in the TR3 or the uh, implementation guide. So it's really easy to follow the how I normalize the database and follow the structure of the database. And also in the store procedures, the naming convention is similar. It shows you how there's the 835 TR3. And you'll see the tables. There's a table for every loop and a table for every segment that can repeat more than once. That's how it's physically normalized. And let's go back to the database and look at the store procedures. And the order of execution, which always is a, a uh, challenge for uh, developers, what gets executed when? Well, this gets ex these store procedures get executed from top to bottom as the segments occur in the file and you'll see that each of the store procedures is in a transaction it has a try and catch block and I use a uh, when I insert a record I use the scope identity function to get the um, auto identity that's generated the primary keys are auto identities integer, integer types excuse me and here's the claim adjustment update uh, claim adjustment insert store procedure and uh, that's it for the video uh, see you next time